And let's start in the nation's capital. It is now official. Justice Olukai Adeyariwola has retired as the 22nd Chief Justice of Nigeria as he turns 70 today. Justice Ariola was born on the 22nd of August 1954. He graduated from the University of Ife, now Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, Oshun State, where he obtained his bachelor's degree in law. He was called to the bar and got enrolled at the Supreme Court of Nigeria as a solicitor and advocate in July 1981. Justice Ariwala started his career as a state counsel on National Youth Service Corps at the Ministry of Justice, Akure, Ondo State, and later as a legal officer in the Ministry of Justice, Oyo State, until 1988 when he voluntarily left the state civil service for private practice. He had worked as counsel in chambers of Chief Lado Suladak Bosan between October 1988 and July 1989 when he established Ulukayode Ariwalan Co. And that's a firm of legal practitioners and consultants in Oyo Town in August 1989 and where he was appointed in November 1982 as a judge of Oyo State. Justice Ariwala, before his elevation to the Supreme Court, served as Justice of the Court of Appeal in Kaduna, Enugu and Lagos divisions. On the 22nd of November 2011, he was elevated to the bench of the Supreme Court and was appointed Substantive Chief Justice of Nigeria on June the 22nd, 27th, 2022. His appointment as CGN followed the resignation of Justice Tanko Mohammed. Justice Ariwala was formally confirmed Chief Justice by the Nigerian Senate on 21st September 2022. And barring any last-minute change, Justice Kudirat Kekerekun will be succeeding Justice Ariwala as Chief Justice of Nigeria in acting capacity, pending her confirmation by the Nigerian Senate. Justice Kekerekun is the second most senior justice in the bench of the Supreme Court, and she was last week nominated by the National Judicial Council as its 106th meeting, a meeting to take over from Justice Olukayode Ariwala. Upon the president's approval, Justice Kekirekun will become the second female CGN, the first being Justice Miriam Mukta, who held the position from July 2012 to November 2014. The impact we have made in the Supreme Court and the judiciary at large, I recall it was during his term that the Supreme